Hello everyone, my name is Goodhead Joe, and today we're going to be doing another tech highlight, and it's going to be on the Godox ESC45s. Now, these are these little panel lights or wherever I have two of them. Um, I even bought them for a friend of mine named Awesome uh, for about $90, $99 on uh, b &H Photo. So again, check around or wherever for these types of lights. I know in comparison, a lot of people say that the Elgato key lights or wherever are good as well and they work with the stream deck and all that stuff and if you've ever used any kind of elgato products and or just products in general that have to do with connecting to wi-fi or connecting apps on your phone or something like that um, in order to get to stuff to work with the stream deck anything like that um, they're not perfect there's always issues of dropout um, i've seen it countless times in people's streams who have uh, lights that work on wi-fi or that work uh, through some kind of app or whatever on their phone or PC or something like that and having connection issues and everything because it comes with a physical controller. I do believe Godox does have some kind of app out there or wherever for majority of their lights. And if you don't know about Godox, Godox is an actual professional company um, who, prof who uh, I would say specializes in lighting. So a lot of big productions uh, as far as like music videos, I would say um, just cinematic videos. A lot of content creators who work in video production use a lot of their stuff. Um, there's more professional lighting obviously is more expensive, but if a company has been around that long and they specialize in lighting, you know for a fact you're gonna get a really good product. Um, the thing about Godox, like I said, is that they do soft boxes they do you know regular lights and stuff like that small lights and everything and they do have some budget friendly options but again when it comes to a module like this uh the thing about it is is that it can charge on the back of the light it magne uh, magnetically pulls off the back or wherever so you can see the charging pins down here but it also has the capability of having usb type c so you could charge this module while sitting on your desk and just at a push of a button turn off you know other lights or wherever in your office my second light just came on because they're uh, grouped together but you have all the controls here on the module itself you can control the color temperature um, you can control what channels each light are on i think with this you can pair up to like four of them i think if i remember correctly four or five of them um to one module or wherever and again you can have them separately and uh you can pop both of them off or wherever the back of both lights if you need to and adjust the brightness so one is at 10 percent one's at 20 and on top of that you can change the color temperatures of of these lights wherever all on here group them all together everything it's very seamless it's very easy to do and everything and this one again usually controls the one over here and then the one that's on the back or wherever i usually turn it on if i need a rim light or hair light um these lights are really good for that now as far as main studio lights and everything i still recommend getting some type of light with some type of type of softbox the light that's actually lighting me over here that's my main key light is usually the newer uh, light where i put the name of it on the screen or wherever you can find it around a hundred dollars but the softbox that, that i got wherever it's a super small softbox there's only one softbox that i've seen smaller than this um and then you start getting into many softboxes um but this one's is 26 i've seen one uh that is like I think 20 or wherever as far as like that diameter or wherever so it's super super small I've highlighted it is in the video uh, on my YouTube channel talking about it it's from a company called Selens um, and again they make super small soft boxes that can fit I would say a majority of people's desk and the thing about it the difference between a light like this and one of these key lights is for one it's double diffused so there's a double diffusion layer inside of it uh, to actually spread the light and give you that soft glow like you saw in the beginning of the video. Uh, the second thing is, is that um, it's because you can get bigger domes or wherever, not everybody needs a huge dome, but because you can get bigger domes, it spreads the light and it's bigger than having just these kind of small panels. These panels from Godox or wherever can get super bright, don't get me wrong. Right now they're about at 60 or wherever and they're pretty bright. Um, they're actually overexposing the image or wherever on my camera through my zebra. It's just a, just a hair. Um, so again, you can possibly find ones that are going to be uh, really good for you as far as like key lights and everything like that. Like I said, the softbox lighting dome solution, this is going to cost you um, possibly, I would say for what I've paid for it around $160, $170. 
uh, for something like this because essentially what you want again is a strong enough key light again you don't need to really go over 60 watts for most content creators and most streamers i would say but what you want is a big enough surface area that the light is getting uh i would say shown through or wherever and having that double layer diffusion makes that light a lot softer whereas these lights even from elgato and godox you need them to be further away or you'll see people turn them and put them uh splashing on the wall or wherever to diffuse that harsh light and uh it's a difference between looking at those key lights and looking at a soft box with diffused lights you don't really get your eyes like blinded and stuff like that and again that's another reason why people turn it and do it bounce it off the wall or wherever because that's the way to do it a lot of people don't know about soft boxes and being able to uh you know get the spread of the light and everything and what people don't really know that soft boxes are pretty cheap um again this 26 one or wherever is like 60 bucks there is a one that's even bigger that's like 36 or wherever in diameter or wherever i have that one too it's pretty big um i would use it in a standalone setup i would not attach it to a desk or anything like i have these lights um just because it takes up so much surface area but that softbox itself is like 77 dollars um this one i think is 67 or 66 dollars or wherever and again you can find yourself um, a pretty cheap light or wherever if you look on amazon for around a hundred dollars to uh 150 dollars or whatever for a light i know this doesn't sound budget but um as far as lighting and stuff goes it it actually really is a, a budget friendly option and actually technically budget in the realm of video production and lighting um these lights are usually referred to as cob lights this key light i've been talking about so if you're interested in that look it up um and another cheap idea wherever to a little secret is that you look for something that's called daylight or look for something that has the reference to 5600 kelvin um or 60 or 5600 k because those are technically daylight lights and they don't change in color temperature and you don't really need that at all if you ever pulled up to somebody's stream or looked at somebody's video and their camera looks really yellow it's because the, the color temperature is probably set to like 27 or 2600 kelvin and their actual camera or the webcam or wherever is not set to that color temperature and that's why if you want your ca your camera or whatever to look like this then you need to set it to daylight time which is fixed uh, 5600 kelvin and those lights because they don't have extra requirements like rgb and like i said changing color temperatures or wherever they're technically cheaper because they don't have more components inside the light hence why you can find them around a hundred dollars or even less and that's going to be it for the, the tech highlight hopefully this was useful to somebody out there if you're interested in it again it's the godox uh, esc 45s uh, look them up you know bnh photo is a good website to look up for used or or deals or wherever sometimes you can find them on amazon um, if you're looking to get products i would suggest websites like bnh um, because they usually have deals and sales and stuff like that that you can't find on other websites uh just a heads up so yeah hopefully you guys find that useful that being said y'all take care have a squid day god bless you and yours and deuces everybody much love